no help. It must be exhausting. The world conspires against mothers who need sleep. The absent father's returned. He wouldn't recognize his cubs and could easily harm them. It's safer to stay out of the way. It's a shame he's got no role. It's the downside of pregnancy and milk. The cubs play near their mother. They're like the early mammals, which were explorers and thinkers. Childhoods have become longer, and instincts less important. It's how mammals started building a mind of their own. Cubs try everything, learning slowly for themselves. The greatest gift a mammal mother can give them is time. A mule deer mother calving nearby doesn't have any time. If your potential prey, birth must be quick, and babies born well developed and able to run. The calf is already alert; his senses tuned to danger. She automatically eats any telltale remains from the birth, though, as a strict vegetarian, she doesn't seem to like them much. <coughs> A mule deer calf must be born with specific fears. He can't explore and learn what is dangerous. Wolves and coyotes and bears could be anywhere. The slightest sound or smell triggers fear. Grazers the world over are ruled by their instincts, their emotions. A wildebeest birth takes minutes. The newborn calves at 20 kilos are as well developed as is physically possible. security is to hide behind others, melt away into the herd, a mother and calf lost among millions. In the safety of a nearby river, a hippo is being born. She is better able to make choices for her baby. She feels safer here from lions and hyenas. It's an underwater birth. Her biggest worry for the newborn is other hippos. The father included. She chases them away. The newborn has strong instincts to stay near mum, but also not to drown. Struggling to find shallow water, he may be swept away. see the confusion and panic. Even if the calf makes it to the bank, instincts are still pulling both in different directions. She remains fearful of other hippos, though the real danger now is from lions.
she makes her decision and comes charging over. Babies depend on mothers balancing their instincts and gauging what to do. As animals grow up, they need their parents to make the right decisions. Often, mothers face very difficult choices. Few are as stark as the dilemmas facing Cape fur seals on the southwest coast of Africa. Again, the story begins with a birth. Nobody helps each other here. In this city of seals, there are only single parent families. Mother and pup learn each other's smell and call. An ancient system of hormones, oxytocin and others, forge the bonds. The problems start at the top of the colony. It gets very hot. Seals need to keep cool or they overheat and die. Mothers stay loyally with their pup and both suffer in the heat. Pups rely on their mothers acting unselfishly, but her instincts of self-preservation may override her pup's needs. The seals become desperately hot. Some first-time mothers panic. They make a mad dash for the shore. The pups don't understand. They try to follow, rapidly overheating in their black coats. Out of the desert come brown hyenas. An undefended baby is easy pickings. <laughs> None of the others defend the pups. They turn a blind eye. When the mothers return, for some, it's too late. They pass casualties of misguided instincts and heat. <laughs> 